Good morning. For the first, I wanted to show you how the best breakfast of the masters look like. And I'm going to do that in Polish language. Mamy kanapki. Kanapki z parówkami, sardynkami z puszki i i czymś tam. Nie wiem właściwie czym. E, to nieważne. Świnia w słoiku. Świnia w słoiku. Otóż ona właśnie. Zatem jest to przepyszna kuchnia francuska. 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 I zjadamy to. I dzisiaj jedziemy do Vichy. No nie jedziemy. Nie. Dzisiaj jedziemy na południe dalej spotkać się z kolegą. Z kolegą? Zatem do widzenia. So, yes, that is all true. We are going down south, then we are going to Pyrenees to meet our friend Boggy. That's the friend whom we met actually last year, if you remember that. But as we learned from the experience, we decided to send him a message and check if everything is fine. And we were happy to get that reply. Brilliant! So, as everything is set up, we decided to make a stop for a coffee. And that village seems to be nice for that purpose. Actually, it's a village in the middle of nowhere, so that's the sort of place which I really prefer. The village basically left on its own. Full of weird residents though. And some weird visitors. But anyway, let's drink that and let's get out of here. So yes, we jumped on bikes and we are going down south as I told you. We plan to do just about 160 miles today, so it's not a lot, but we will follow the white roads. We will be just on French B roads and for now they are a disaster. I mean the views are absolutely gorgeous, however the tarmac quality of those French B roads is a nightmare really. <laughs> it is. Well, it doesn't look that bad on the video, but it's so bumpy that I wish I would be on a proper enduro bike. And look, there is gravel everywhere. Well, but at least it's rather nice here, isn't it? And why we were on those roads? We were actually following the GPS with the most curvy roads set up on that. But it was about time to switch to faster roads because, yeah, we've got enough of that Dharma quality, really. And what a joy it was, because that tarmac was actually completely opposite. It didn't look good, but it was brilliant. Well, it didn't last that long, though, because our destination required going on the B roads again. And those hairpins means that we are really close to that destination. And that will be... you will see. You will see in a minute. Ok, 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 enough of those hairpins, because we can't see shit. Yeah, there is too many bushes. Nice building though. But the destination is... The bridge on River Dordogne. Oh yes, I think it's gorgeous, isn't it? Well, I know you can't see it yet, but let's take a look at it together. But first, let's admire my bike for a second. 
not the brick. Yeah, but the, the greenery is nice, isn't it? And that is quite a view. Sadly though, flying a drone is prohibited here. But why? Well, luckily, we've met one local, Jean-Pierre, who was selling the drone footages on the riverbanks. Thanks a lot, mate! Well, brilliant that all is, but it's actually time to go, because we've got more to see. the last view on the bridge and one picture and yes off we go but let's look how hot it was And here we go again, loads of hairpins. I actually quite like it, because the views are absolutely amazing. Or maybe I would actually like it more if the tarmac would be good as well. But it's not. But anyway, let's take a look on the map where are we actually right now. And yeah, off we go. I already mentioned the tarmac quality. Just look at that abomination of the road. Germany, it's not for sure. <laughs> but I will tell you more. Even the worst roads in Britain are much better than that. Honestly. But what's the case here is that France has got so many small B roads that they can't manage that. All the A roads are really good, but then so many small narrow roads up there, they can't manage. Well, enough complaining. Positive note is that there are no speed cameras. Hey, lovely! But anyway, thankfully, we are on the main roads again. Well, just kidding, but we will soon be. And look, the tarmac is great, there are lovely bends, and Lucas bike is giving smoke signs. Lovely! As I told you before, the destination for today is the city of Albi, or rather town of Albi, not Aldi. Don't, don't mistake those two. Anyways, it's really nice here, it really is. I like the tarmac, I like the roads, and there is just one problem. It started to be boiling hot. Right now it's about 34 degrees, so yeah, the consumption of water is growing exponentially. We made a small break up here. In this lovely spot. Well, obviously the spot is idiotic, but actually we needed the water and it was in the shade. But look at that. Hmm? Lovely. Anyway, time to go again.
washed up in this wonderful spot full of greenery and nonsense it's hot and we are tired so we are talking bollocks and it's not nice at all eh, nothing there anyways right now we are going to Albi and we've got like an hour to go or something and that will be it for today because we've got a hotel booked there and we will be meeting with our friend so till later and that is all true except we will be meeting with our friend Boggy tomorrow morning not today of course Yes, we are going right now down the hill to Albi, here we are, and now we are going straight to the hotel, because we are hungry and we won't leave the bikes there and go to eat something. That's the plan at least. So we are at the next hotel. Look at that. One bike here, second bike here, there is nowhere to park. Such a lovely hotel, beautiful, <laughs> but the city is nice, sort of. We could maybe park here, but I don't know, anyway. And that's exactly where we parked, but in the meantime we went for a dinner. <laughs> well, anyway, it was a good dinner with a good beer in a really nice place, so it could even be romantic. If not the company, of course. I mean Lucas. Well, and myself as well. <laughs> but it's all good as long as the beer is cold and... Well, never mind that. This whole monologue is just stupid. Let's see you in the next episode. And in the next episode... Well, in the next episode, you will need to see yourself, because I won't tell you what will happen. That would be too obvious this time. So, anyways... See you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.